that there are concrete barriers placed at both sides of the road. That is to demarcate the construction zone. And we try as much as possible to make it about five kilometers. And then if you see, after this construction zone, there will be a relief where there is no construction. It is done deliberately so as to ease traffic flow. It's part of the, you know, the strategy to manage traffic while the construction is going on. Because if you notice that in these uh, areas where there are construction, where construction is going on, you, you, you realize that there is always traffic build up. If you have two small vehicles, they can overtake each other. But the big vehicles, if you have a trailer in front, you cannot overtake, you will slow down progress. So that is why that strategy is adopted to ease traffic flow. What you are seeing now is Edward's operation going on within the median. Which one is, is the cross? This one? This is the final. On top of it, you now have the prime coat and then you have that macadam that they are laying now. Okay. On top of it. still come up here. work with uh, the ministry or the ministry? yeah just last year I absorbed I zoom duty first time May last year since that same last year I was posted for my budget to this place yeah uh, we had a very rigorous training in school theoretically and even practically as well but not this detailed uh, my experience at work after school days. I've worked in private uh, sectors. I had experience over 10 years before I now joined the ministry. I had experience on uh, highway works and uh, even some structural works too. And uh, it is actually very interesting because uh, it gives me joy, gives me fitted, even I feel like I love that. I see I enjoy the job and I love it. Now joining the ministry, I'm beginning to learn newer things. Especially I have been in the laboratory, seeing how all tests have been done, detailed, getting the kind of the kind of soils that are actually very suitable and those that are suitable a lot of uh, From uh, what is going on here is uh, they do a large of this road. This is my very first time of experiencing a bigger project like this. I can tell you I'm highly impressed because I'm learning a lot here. As you can see, the median is being worked on from 
the clearance of all the vegetation down to cutting of the unsuitable materials of to a reasonable depth where you can have a better bearing capacity to receive other materials for the subgrade, sub base, chalatritic. And the thickness being limited at each level of compassion has been specifically monitored by the ministry, seeing that they are working according to specification. At every 150 mm lane of the materials, there is compassion according to specification. And uh, after that, the stone base comes on, which is also of 200 mm and 200 mm in two layers to 400 mm. And now it's my very first experience that uh, uh, a kind of materials which I have not seen being used in this country before, called macadam, is going to be used. And we have gone through some tests in the laboratory to see how this is being prepared. From this, I see it's going to give good, a high lasting duration. As uh, I understand the uh, engineering and highways, roads are being designed to last for initially for about 10 years before maintenance might come in. But from this, I am beginning to understand that I'm trying to do something that will last for like 30 years before maintenance will come in. It's really a very good experience for me. So you, you consider the whole construction project as an opportunity to young Nigerian engineers? Yes. It's uh, a very interesting uh, field of life. It keeps you fitted. Spell, and there are rainy seasons in between. But in those areas, those construction activities where are uh, greatly impacted by rain, like earthworks operation, you see there, we are doubling, we are trying to double the, the effects, I mean the activities of earthworks operation. These are the areas that can greatly be, greatly uh, impact, have great impact on rain. Active. So those activities, we try to speed them up. But the other areas like asphalt laying, which will come later, well, you can do it. If rain abates, you can lay your asphalt. And even if it comes down after some time, it will not have effects on the asphalt. what I do, it's kind of interesting. It's not beyond my imagination, but I've actually gained a lot. I actually work in a lab. I do assist them in carrying out various soil tests and road tests to know if the material is really okay for the road construction. And I've really gained a lot there, like the CBR test, the outer bike limit, the compaction, the grain size analysis. It's really okay. Yes, I really hope. I really hope. And with the experience you are gaining, you are you hoping that that will be enough for you to to be employed there? Yes, it's my certificate, I think. Differential settlements, because they are now used as a carriageway. They are going to work as one body now. So in order to to make them work as one, to prevent differential settlements, this geo grid is now placed equidistant, so so that geo grid itself is not is a is a soil reinforcement so that once if if we if this one settles it will be able to prevent it from settling so that whatever settlement that they have it will be in a, it will be in symmetry there won't be uh, differential settlement so that is the essence of the geo grid we are having here how is the community response to the project the community if if we want to take the reading from the from the newspaper they they, they, they appreciate the project in fact there has been time 
in time past they they give considerable attention to the activities on site here and they, they are happy and they're also happy also on the method of construction given the fact that the the road has been in, in disrepair for a long time and and the government is is showing interest in fact more than interest is actually carrying out activities the the community or the communities are bound to be happy okay, that, this is a very first step after it works it works it's mm. called stone base stone base okay you know, even the earthworks you are seeing is not just a subgrade like they told you. Also, sub base is lateritic. Okay. That is laterite. Using well, the what, is, what does it mean when it's lateritic? Lateritic is just the soil you are seeing, the red soil you are seeing. You know, it's laterite. And then this one is crushed stone base, where it's, 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 it's stronger than the laterite base. Is, is all geared towards ensuring that the, the road is firm. This is just a cause of it. Another one will come on top of it to flush with the existing carriageway. And the yeah. one that will come on top of it, what is that one called? It's still, it's still crushed stone base. It's intended to give it more, uh, you know, more, more strength.